What's up guys, it's Northeast again here and welcome to the first episode of my severe career mode and don't worry guys, I'm still going to be continuing my Blackpool FIFA 16 career mode, I'm just going to be playing the severe career mode on top of it and sorry if this video is a bit fast paced for you guys, it's just that there was a lot of transfer business to get out of the way so I had to speed the video up quite a bit so we're going from Blackpool a lower league side that we have to develop to quite a well established side Sevilla but still need some work doing obviously they're in the Champions League this year they are winning the Europa League last year I've put them in the correct groups that they are in in real life and hopefully this year we can improve on their fifth place finish that they got last year and hopefully finish in the top three that is my main aim this year but we're going to need to make a lot of signings into this severe side because there is not a lot of young talent into the side and a, a young lad that ha does have a lot of talent is Chris Foro but, um, but we're going to send him out on loan to get some experience and a transfer offer has been accepted a 10 million transfer offer here for Briel Donald Imbolo the 18 year old from Basel brilliant young talent and hopefully we can get him into the squad and wrap a contract uh, offer up and the six million transfer offer has been accepted as well for Bertrand Traore of Chelsea just come back from loan off the test hopefully we can also get him into the club and he will be a good young striker that we can develop for the future and Arsenal have matched a 6.5 million deal for Pereira so he will be leaving the club and we will be getting some transfer budget in to the club but our first signing of the series comes here and it's the 18 year old real Donald and Bolo who just saw his stats there amazing stats 76 rated for an 18 year old it's absolutely unbelievable only 10 million I think that will end up being a steal in the long run considering what a good player he is going to turn out to be for Hector Vielba and Mark Bartra both transfer offers accepted so offering them both contracts hopefully we can get them to young prospects into the side and we are going to reject Bertrand Traore despite him accepting the contract offer because of the arrival of Real Donald and Bolo but the second signing of the series comes as Hector Vielba accepts his contract the right winger he's got bundles and bundles of pace only 20 years old and he can play in that striker position he's got great potential for the future and he is definitely going to be one for squad depth he can we can keep him on our bench and bring him on if we are in need of some pace in the game but our full uh, th oh, sorry our third signing of the series is being made here and Mark Bartra we needed a centre back and Mark Bartra is definitely someone that can come in and has a very good starting overall at 80 he's coming for 15 million pounds he has a very good starting overall at 80 and is only 24 years old so has a lot of room to grow so that's definitely a good sign as we bring Mark Bartra into the first team but as you could see a minute ago we did get a transfer offer for Kevin Gamero, but we did ask them to bump the offer up a bit from Torino because that was not enough money for us. I'm not sure whether Gamero is going to be in our plans for the future as he is 28 years old and only 79 rated and then Bolo is 76 rated and he's 10 years younger. So Kevin Gamero might be leaving probably he's probably going to be leaving and Stoke come in with an offer as well we counter off for them the same as we did Torino 16.5 million pounds hopefully we can match that because that is a very very fair price and probably a bit of an unfair price to be honest I would not pay 16.5 million euros sorry we're using euros in this promo I would not pay that for Kevin Gamera anyway pushing on more training Hopefully, Brill, Donald and Bola, hopefully we can really utilise the training feature this year to try and get him 
to his maximum potential because he really is a good potential player. And Stoke have decided to match the counter of £16.5 million pounds for Kevin Gamero. Absolutely shook there, as I did think that was a bit unreasonable at £16.5 million. Pounds. But we will definitely take it. And we have signed our fourth player of this series, and it is a goalkeeper coming in, Kaylor Navas. 17 set sorry 7.5 million plus Beto a very good deal for the Costa Rican shot stopper and as you could see just a second ago the confirmation of the um Kevin Gamero sold has been done he has been sold to Stoke City we get 14 million into the bank brilliant little sell there and we try and offer Nigo Martinez we try and offer a straight swap for Daniel Caricho as he is as he is a couple of years older but they are the same rating and we do like to get people of the same nation as Inigo Martinez is and they accept the straight offer and we get him into the side as our full as our sorry fifth signing of the career mode. We're making some brilliant progress early on into this career mode and have already made five important signings for the first team. As you can see in the training there, Kuz Josviak goes up a rating and we're looking to sign one more player, Michi Batshuayi. We're hoping to get in, him into the side. Marseille accepts an offer of 20 million euros, which may seem a little bit hasty, but as you will see in a moment, he is um, 79 rated and only 21 years old. So just like Will Donny and Bolo, who's just moved up to a 77 rating, by the way has a lot of space to grow, even though they're starting overalls being quite decent at the moment. West Brom offering £26 million for our Polish centre defensive midfielder, but we say reject all offers and disallow future offers because he's a great, great young prospect. And also Michi Batshuayi, another great young prospect, signs for the side €20 million, Euro 79 rated at only 21 years old. Very excited to get him into the side. He will go straight into the first team to replace Real Don and Bolo, but he will come onto the bench and I'm sure he'll be playing a massive factor in this season. And the first game of the series comes up away to Malaga in the Liga. It's the first game of the episode, the first game of the Liga, and hopefully we can get a good win against a solid Malaga side. And Malaga are the ones with the first chance in coming up in the third minute here. It's Tissione with a good shot. And Navas wasn't reaching it, so we're lucky that it went wide of the post. Konoplyanko, who looks like a brilliant, pacey, skillful talent, the, U the Ukrainian, wins a free kick for us coming up into the 23rd minute. It's knocked on. To Konopianka, he beats his man on a great shot from Konopia, from Konopianka, and Konami tips it over the bar. We we're quite unlucky not to go one nil up in this first game of the series, and a great save there from Konami. Moving on to the 34th minute now, Benega crosses it in, headed away to Vitolo, and that's a great shot from our left midfielder that we are playing in the right winger position. Great save again from Kameni, similar to the save he made against Konoplyanka a minute ago, tipping it over the bar. Malagalo just before half-time, can they get a goal towards the end of the first half? Amrabat dribbling skills and he's been take down there. And Malaga win a very dangerous free kick, which is something to worry about in a very dangerous position. And that is a booking for the captain Koke that Malaga Tigaduni steps up to take it but Tisone is also standing over it missed by Tisio and Tisone with a great shot and although it seemed like an easy save for Kaylor Navas he still had to do something to tip it over the bar and moving all the way into the 90th minute now bit back away with the last chance of the game and Malaga tackle, uh, tackle the ball and passing it around at the back, and it looks like that's going to be it. Yes, that is it. Absolutely nothing happened in that second half. We had a lot of shots, but none of them, none of them really highlight worthy. We we did get forward a lot, but unfortunately didn't really do enough. 
to win the game despite having all them shots as you can see at the end there. That's a disappointing first game of the series, obviously a very tedious game. But I hope you enjoyed the first episode of the severe career mode of Rocky Gaming and I'm